Well, good morning, everyone. It's great to have you guys with us this beautiful morning. Um, I would like to say a special hello to Luella here, uh, Sophia Eastman, Ava, Sophia Taylor, EJ, Isabella, and Thatcher. Good morning, guys. Isabella is my friend? Yeah, she's your friend. Mm -hmm. So today... Isabella. Yeah. Tell you what, you want to start off by singing a song? Yeah! You want to sing Jesus Loves Me? No, this is... Alright, ready? No. No? Jesus loves me. Oh, this is sing and shout Jesus lo lives. I don't think there's... Here, we'll, we'll sing Jesus Loves Me, because I know that song. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Good job. All right, so today we're going to talk about how Jesus puts people into our lives that help us. Um, can you guys think of any, anybody that helps you around your house? Ella, can you think of anybody who helps you? Who's? Mommy and Daddy. Mommy and Daddy, yeah, Mommy and Daddy. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing this chef jacket. Well, I, this is what I wear to work. I am a chef. I'm actually a chef teacher. So I teach people how to cook. And so that's how I, with my job, that's how I help people in our town. Little boys and girls in high school, I teach them how to cook. So that is how I am helpful. And I'm sure that your mommies and daddies too, they help around around town as well with their jobs. They might be a doctor, they might be a police officer or a fireman, and we are so thankful for all the people around us that help us every day, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And the aliens. No aliens. <laughs> okay. Well, I saw some aliens. No, you did not. <laughs> yes, I did! When I was going to be nasty. Oh, really? Okay, let's continue, okay? So, before we read our scripture lesson, I would like to say a quick little prayer, okay? So everybody, bow your heads and fold your hands, all right? And pray after me. Dear God, thank you for your word and the truths it contains. We pray that you would open our hearts and minds to the truths that you that you wishing us to see. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. So, unfortunately, I don't have any cool pictures for this story because for some reason, our story Bible, this one, does not have this particular particular scripture lesson in it. So, I'm going to, you guys got this in your, you can kind of see, there we go. You guys got this in your handout. So I'm going to read from this. So if your mom and dad want to grab it real quick and they can follow along, you guys can look at the pictures. And, and yeah, and you we'll can read, read okay? it. Yep. All right, are we ready? So this comes from Acts chapter 23, verses 12 through 35. And it's about a little boy that helps Jesus. Okay? So Paul traveled everywhere he could to tell people about Jesus. But sometimes Paul got into trouble when the... When, the, when he told people about Jesus. Jesus' enemies hated Paul. They tried their hardest to catch him. One day, a whole room full of Jesus' enemies made a plan to catch Paul. They shook hands and agreed not to eat or drink anything until they arrested Paul. You guys remember from the other day what, when we were explaining what an enemy was? An enemy is somebody who wants to harm you, right? They do mean things to you. They're like the opposite of your friend. And now, then, and then you call the um, police officers. Yeah, then you call police officers, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, those are, those are, they're different from your friends. You know, your friends might sometimes do things that might be a little mean, but they're not your enemy. They don't wish harm on you. Um, all right, so Paul's enemies knew that he was trying to, trying in a very, he was staying in a very safe place with guards who watched him and took care of him. Those guards would never let anyone through the door to get Paul. So Paul's enemies came up with a plan. 
if we can get Paul into the house, we'll get Paul to come out, they said. But how can we do that? Asked, someone asked. We'll trick the guards. We'll tell them Paul needs to come to a meeting, and when he comes, we'll grab him. Ha! He'll never be able to tell, tell people about Jesus again. That's not very nice. Uh -uh. But there, there was something Paul's enemies didn't know. Jesus was watching and listening to, to their evil plan. Jesus had a plan for keeping Paul safe. A young boy listened to Paul's enemies make, listened to Paul's enemies make their evil plan. He ran as fast as he could to the place where his uncle, his uncle Paul was staying. Shh. Yeah. We're reading the story. Be quiet. Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, he called. Something's fri something frightening is going to happen to you. I just heard about it. Don't worry. You were brave to come to tell me. And now I want you to go and tell the guard what you've heard. He will help us, said Paul. Don't worry. I'll take care of you, your uncle, said the guard when, the, he, when the, he listened to the little boy. I, I won't let your, his enemies hurt him. Just don't tell anyone else about this. That night, the guard helped Paul get ready to escape. I have a horse for you to ride, and lots of soldiers to ride with you, he whispered. Very quietly, Paul climbed on his horse. Very quietly, the soldiers climbed on their horses, and they galloped away, taking Paul with them. Paul's enemies didn't catch him. Not this time. Well, that was nice. So, what I think is important for you guys to think about is a little boy helped Paul in that story, right? So you don't have to be an adult to help somebody. Somebody as little as Ella here, as little as you guys, can be a huge help to people in your town or in your, in your home, your brothers and sisters, your parents, your grandparents. So I want you guys to think about that. And I would like for you guys to think about, think about who in your life has helped you. Maybe it's your mom, it's your dad, grandmas, grandpas, brothers and sisters. They're all huge helpers, right, Ella? Stop. They're all huge helpers, right? So be thankful for, the, for those people. And be thankful for our firefighters, our police officers, our doctors, uh, our nurses, our teachers, all of those people we need to be very thankful for, okay? All right, can we fold our hands and say a prayer? Hmm? Can you do that for me? Okay. Let's fold our hands and say uh, dear God, I, I thank you so much for our doctors, our teachers, our nurses, our firefighters, our policemen, our moms, our dads, our grandmas, our grandpas, aunts, uncles, all the people in our lives that help us every day. We are so thankful for those people in our lives. In all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, that's all we got for today, guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.